bench, the stone heavy sweatshop. What do we got going on today? See this little pile? I am, uh, well not today, what do I got going on right now? I got these uh, LEDs here for the pedal and um, I got to put on these resistors. By the way, if you're wondering what's uh, jamming in the background, that's a cool G-Rap, man. That's some hardcore New York shit, man. It brings back, uh, well, memories. I can't, I can't say if they're good or bad memories of kind of growing up near New York City, but uh, anyway, man, this is, this is the jam. Cool G-Rap with a K, mind you. Um, look it up, go pick up some of his work. He's, uh, he's pretty hardcore, man, he's pretty awesome. So what am I doing here? I'm soldering on these little resistors uh, to the LEDs. Each LED in my pedal gets its own resistor. Why? Because LEDs are different. I wish I could just have one resistor and connect all the LEDs to one, but truth of the matter is, they're gonna glow at different brightnesses. So what do I do? I sit there like a jackass because I got nothing else to do, and I wire up all the LEDs next to each other and I try different resistor values uh, until A, the brightness level is nice and comfortable. It's not blasting your eyes out or making your pedal board glow like some, you know, fucking uh, switchboard on uh, the USS Enterprise or something like that. You know, you don't want to be at a show and then all of a sudden uh, you, you look like you're playing through a uh, light bright or something like that, right? And then... Uh, but also, you know, it's uh, not just to, and so e each one has a different resistor to even out the brightness amongst the different LEDs as well. And LEDs require an input resistor to limit the current because uh, you don't want basically open season. Once the LED, once the voltage level is, is sufficient to make the LED work, which is uh, the voltage, um, every LED's got different voltage. These are three volts. You can get them at whatever voltage, you know, you specify with your supplier. And then uh, once that voltage is met, the current will just rip right through. So without this resistor, the current's just gonna flow through that LED and it's just gonna fry it. So any LED has to have a resistor. So if you're doing any projects on your own, and you want to hook up an LED, just make sure you put a resistor. If you're not quite sure how to calculate it and you, you, know, you haven't gotten that far and you're just tinkering with stuff but you want to have an LED, just throw 300 ohms on there. You know, something, that, that's, that's a pretty safe, that, that will at least limit the resist, the, um, excuse me, limit the current enough that you're not going to blow up your LED. And then once you learn a little more, you can figure out what value your LED actually requires based on the, uh, the specs, whatever the, the max current is. I'm not even running anywhere near max on these, which is good. It will extend the life of the LED uh, quite a bit. So you just gotta do a little bit of Ohm's Law to figure that out. Anyhow, cool. So yeah, I gotta sit here and do hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these things, but uh, it's cool, man. I can't really complain. Sit here at the bench, rock some tunes in the background, you know, drink lots of coffee. Uh, life is good. Cool. See you on the next video. Peace out.